Hey yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on our C5 Galaxy. So in today's episode, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and work on the mechanics for opening and closing the landing gear by one button by itself so that we don't have to press a bunch of levers and all that. So anyways guys, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so this is going to be a technical episode. So what we need to do for these landing gear is we need to basically swivel it or well, pivot it. Uh, where's the turn? Uh, right here, we're going to have to turn it 90 degrees. Um, I think we're going to have to rotate it. Um, I think it's going to have to be 180 degrees. Uh, not 180, sorry. It might be... Um, okay, so I think we're going to have to turn it counterclockwise so it's gonna have to be turned into a negative number for the pivot and then as soon as it pivots uh the this right here this robotic uh hinge and this at the exact same time will start folding in but we could also incorporate this at the same time so we really only need um three three different numbers going on but before we do that i do have a little error going on right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this into this but i have a modified one by three wedge it's not what you think but it's basically a wedge that's one by one by three but it is three wide so only the middle block has a hip box so we can simply just place it down right here actually hold on me hmm. so if I place it down and I place these two right here, I can delete this and it'll be merged to the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply paint this to this gray just on all three sides, just like that. Um, I cannot do it with the sides, that's odd, but whatever. So let's go ahead and cut this right here. We're going to cut it and right down here, we're going to paste it right here and here. So, um, go ahead and merge it really quick, just like that. Uh, okay, so we cannot, uh, that's odd. Okay, we cannot paint it. So, I think I'll just leave that as this for now. We'll get back to that later on. So, let's just simply fill this in just like this. And we'll drag this to here, and let's just fill this in. Just like that. This will be filled in as well. And that is filled in. Okay, let's fill this in. Alright, then we'll just place this right here. Okay. So, actually, I think I'm going to do this for all of the engines. So, let me go ahead and select all of it. You can do the selection grid, one back. So, let's copy it. Let's move it so it lines up with this. Okay, let's move it down a block or two. Okay, let's move it back uh, to right here. Okay, now let's merge it. Um, oh, actually, no, I gotta delete these really quick. So it'll be mirrored over to the other side when we paste the other one. It'll be easier. So now let's go ahead and simply move it over to right here. So let's paste it and merge it. Okay, so the landing gear. Um, so how it's going to work is we're going to swivel. Right. Um, so this will be a four stage uh, system. So it's going to require four different things for it. So we're going to need four capacitors. So let's go ahead and grab a capacitor. This one right here and let's place it four times just like that. Um, okay, so now let's go grab a compact robotic pivot, or uh, sorry, compact numerical switch box. We'll just place them down. Actually, let's, um, yeah, let's just place them down like this. Okay, so, um, okay, so the first stage is it for it to rotate. So this will be, um, okay, so it's going to be Hopefully, uh, 
eight seconds total. So a eight second process for the landing gear to fold up. It's different than that for real life, but it's fine. So this will be a discharge time of eight seconds. It'll take zero seconds for the landing gear to pivot because that will be the first process. So let's quickly go ahead and go into here and invert this into a negative one. Okay, negative one, all right. Okay, so let's go ahead and connect this to right here and here, as well as here and here. So let's double check that these are all going to be negative. Yes. All right, so the next thing is for this to pivot up and for this to pivot up. So there are going to be a positive number. This will happen two seconds in, so it'll wait two seconds. And the discharge time will be the second thing, so it'll be two seconds out. Okay, actually, we can delete one of these really quick. Okay, so then the third thing. Okay, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and connect this up really quick. So this will go to these pivots. Okay, so let's go ahead and connect them up, as well as these. Okay, let's go ahead and connect this to here, this to here. This will go to here, this will go to here. These will go to here, and these will go to here. Okay, so these will also activate at the exact same time. So let's go ahead and send a signal to these. So these doors will be closing at the exact same time as the line gear folding up. Okay. All right, there we go. So now let's connect this last one. This last one will be four seconds in. And the discharge time will be zero seconds. And this will be these flaps right here. So these will be the first things to open. So once it's closed, it will need to be open first for everything else to actually uh, actually open up and get out of the closed bay. So let's go ahead and connect this to, oh, my spike. Let's connect this to all of these. All right, there we go. Okay, we do not have power, but that's all right. So let's go ahead and connect this. Actually, let's do the front landing here really quickly. So, um, I've, I've done a bit of a change to the current design. Well, what the last design was. So basically what this is going to be is it's going to be two flaps. Well, two flaps that will cover up the landing gear bay. So how we're, we're going to do this is, um, I'm going to say a robotic pivot right here. Maybe actually, maybe one will go right here. Yeah, um, so we need it to be lower by a block. You know what? We could, yeah, I don't know about this. Hmm. Oh, you know what? So this landing gear right here, these are modded four by four, or two, three by three wheels. Um, we could delete these. And we could go ahead and cut these. We can move them down just like this. Okay. Then what we could do from there, here's the genius moment. <laughs> All right. We can cut them. We can paste them or we can move them over a block. We can go ahead and do that really quick. All right. Now what we can do from there is we can... Go ahead and merge it to this, just like this. Okay, then there we can go ahead and grab these. We can move them up two blocks, and then we can merge them with the middle. There we go. That worked. So these are all merged right here. That works. All right. So let's go ahead and add a robotic pivot. Oh, this right here. We're going to shade it to this color of gray. And we're going to add it to right here. So this will turn, um, this is clockwise, you know. So this one will turn clockwise as well to close the flap. So let's go ahead and drag this to here and let's go ahead and merge these just like that. And now let's go ahead and build the flap itself. So 
How wide is this? Okay, so this is... They're each going to be five blocks tall. Um, so they're going to go down five blocks. Hmm. This might be a little bit of a problem. Okay, so we're going to have a second robotic pivot that will hold another flap, which will be completely sideways, but that's fine. So let's go ahead and attach these together. So let's go ahead and attach these. Let's merge them just like that and that. Okay, uh, this one, let's back up a block. Actually, no, it's it's fine. Um, why is that block white? That's odd. Okay, let's simply just... Oh, you know what? Hold on. So, if I place this right here, let me just simply place it down like that. Okay, let's go ahead and merge it. Just like that. Okay, let's go ahead and close that off one block. So it'll fold up. Actually, you know what? We need one more block of space. So let's go ahead and grab, oh, clear content. Let's grab these right here. Let's go ahead and cut them and let's paste them back a block, just like that. Okay, so now let's go ahead, place these here and these here. Okay, let's go ahead and merge these, just like that. Okay, so now for this flap, what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and simply build out three blocks. Um, I think. Okay, so this is four blocks. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to simply just build this like this. And for the other side, we're going to go ahead and turn this upside down, just like that. Okay, so this one will be slightly faster by 0.1. So uh, these will fold in to here and this the reason why this is slightly faster is because when it folds in this will merge with this block and basically it'll combine this wedge and this wedge together but in the same block just like this so it creates a solid block but it's two different blocks if that makes sense so now let's go ahead and grab a capacitor well, two capacitors, and uh, let's go back to the landing gear back here. So, we'll place the two capacitors down here and here. Okay, two robotic pivots there and there. Actually, let's go ahead and grab fresh ones because those could be negative ones. So, let's go ahead and place this here and here. And for the landing gear, we're going to go ahead and put it through a add to go to here. So that right here will be going through an add because we're going to have another number for when we want the C5 Galaxy's front landing gear to bend down a bit so it's easier to access the cargo hatch and such. So we're going to have two numbers coming through here. Okay, so this will be here and this one will go to the flaps that close the landing door, landing door, I meant, landing gear door, I meant, oops, okay. So, uh, this is connected to the landing gear door, so it'll take two seconds to wait, and it'll take zero seconds to discharge. This will be the actual landing gear itself, so it'll take zero seconds to fold, and then two seconds to discharge. So let's go ahead and connect these up, just like this. Okay, now let's go to our logic, and just connect it to our landing gear button. So, let's go ahead and connect this all up. Alright, so, let's finally get rid of this and delete this because this looked kind of ugly. <laughs> and there we go. So, let's just simply delete the batteries. Alright, so, let's go ahead and turn mirror mode on really quickly. Find the center of mass. Actually, let's go ahead and just belt this down. Um, okay, let's actually bring it up a couple blocks okay this is the maximum amount of blocks but that's fine so we're going to simply place a bunch of blocks along this way just like that and this way so that will uh, hold the C5 galaxy up while we test the landing gear so let's go ahead and spawn it in 
and see what it's like. Okay, so it's in. Let's go ahead and turn the rain off and the fog. Okay, let's go ahead and go into the cockpit. Alright, um, let's turn on infinite electricity. So, uh, it has electricity by default. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this on. So it turns, and then, oh, what the? Something went wrong with the back. Okay, let's go ahead and change something around for the back. So, let's go ahead and change this. So it's going to be on a different system than when the land gear itself, this right here, folds in. So, we want these to be slightly faster so that it tilts properly. So let's go ahead and put this at 1.2 speed. Um, okay, so this is unevenly geared. Okay, so let's change this to a 1, by 1 to 4 and a 1.2 speed. Just like that. Let's do the same for the rest. I don't know why this is a 1 by 4. So let's change this to 1 by 2. 1 1.2 as well, 1 to 4. Okay, let's change this to 1 to 1.2. Okay, this right here will be changed to 1.2. And the gear ratio of 1 to 4, just like that. Okay, this will be a 1 to 2. A 1.2 with a gear ratio of 1.4. Okay, this will be a 1.2, and there we go. So, let's grab a capacitor, and let's grab the numerical switch box, a uh, compact numerical switch box. A uh, compact numerical switch box, I meant to say. Okay, let's go ahead and simply place it down. All right, this will go to these doors, just like that. Okay, let's connect it to these. All right, there we go, cool. So, let's connect this to here, and this will go to the landing gear. Okay, let's go ahead and change the numbers around. So this is the last hatch, which I guess we could do, actually, you know what? Let's delete this. This can go at the exact same time as these, because it would be the last thing to go. So, and the first thing to open when you're opening the landing gear. Yeah, that'll work. All right, cool. Um, this does not have numbers. <laughs> Whoopsies. Let's go ahead and connect this up. Just like that. Okay, so that's why it didn't close. Okay, let's go ahead and spawn it in now. And, all right. Here it is. Okay, let's go ahead and go up into the cockpit. Okay. Put on a gear. Camera mode. Double check it got pressed, yes. Oh. Okay. Moment of truth. Will it work? Okay. Oh. I was wrong. <laughs> that didn't work. Okay, let's go ahead and change some numbers around. Alright, so I think we're gonna change this to a two times speed. Actually, what is this? This is a 1 by 4. Oh, okay. Let's change this around. No wonder why this was so fast. Okay, so let's change this to 1.2 again. Um, let's fix the gear ratios. So all of them are at least a 1 by 4, because when the gear ratios change, the speed changes as well. So, this one right here is uh, the last one, and now let's spawn it in. So this should work right here. Okay, let's go ahead and go up into the cockpit. And this should work. Okay, land gear, camera mode. Okay, let's go down to the land gear. Let's change the day just by a couple hours, just like this, so we could see it a little bit better. Okay. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, that worked really great except this right here okay we need to have one more block okay let's go ahead and turn the line gear off okay let's go check it out um oh okay that number can be changed to uh four second discharge time but other than that 
I am very happy on how it's turning out. So let's change this to a four second delay. And I think I saw something back here that was slightly off. Uh, these are 1.2 or one, I guess. Um, okay, I guess not. All right, that's fine. Okay, let's go ahead and save it. Let's spawn it in. All right, let's go ahead and go to the cockpit. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the line gear. Let's go and check it out now. Okay, let's press P to press play. Okay, it turned, it went up, and it tilted. Okay, that went slightly slower back here for the store for some reason. But you know what? It's totally fine. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Wow. This landing gear has had 50 or so hours of work done to it, and it works beautifully. All right, 50 hours of uh, testing and all that, including troubleshooting. Okay, now let's go ahead and watch it open. Beautiful. Okay, let's watch the bottom open and close. Okay. So, let's go ahead and watch this. Um, that was a little bit rocky. It didn't go as well as I planned for the front. So, go ahead and change a few things around. Like this, let's turn mirror mode on really quickly. Let's delete these. Okay, let's go ahead and add a block. And then we'll add this. So this will be facing up. This one will be facing down. Okay, so let's go ahead and change this to 1.2 speed. Okay, this one will be 1.2 speed. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and save it. And let's spawn it in again. All right, let's go ahead and try out the landing gear. Okay, let's go ahead and go down here. All right, this is a great spot to watch. So let's go ahead and press P for a play. Um, okay, that was slightly confusing why it did that. Maybe it's just a bug in the game or something wrong with the system. I don't know, but that's totally fine. We could. Ignore that for now, I guess. So let's go ahead and make the cargo bay door. Well, let's make this an actual hatch. So let's simply close off this area. Let's go ahead and paint the inside of this to a dark gray, the same gray as the rest of the plane. Okay, let's go ahead and paint this right here, just like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and paint this right here. And we'll paint this and that. Okay. So, now I think I've ran out of time, so I'm going to go ahead and save it and end the episode here. So, thank you guys all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the Discord. It'll be linked down below. And while you're at it, you might as well turn on notifications so you're notified every time I upload. And anyways, guys, I will see you guys in the next episode. So, bye for now.